you're about to find out what is the best drying towel for drying your car after you're done washing it. So what's up guys, welcome to another episode of Pan the Organizer. A few years ago I did a video that was quite popular and we tried to discover what was the best drying towel. Now a lot of new models, a lot of new brands came about and also you guys recommended that I include two more in a future test uh, that you thought were super popular so I've been doing some testing and here behind me I have what I believe to be currently the five best microfiber drying towels. So we have the Rag Company Gauntlet version 2, so they're a new iteration. We have the Rag Company Liquidator Towel. We have the Chemical Guys Woolly Mammoth. We have Griot's Garage PFM. And last but not least, Luxury Microfiber Sucker Drying Towel. By the way, don't worry, I'll include the links to all of these bad boys in the description under the video for you guys to check them out. So all you have to do is sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Also, quick disclaimer, this is not a sponsored video. I'm just giving you my thoughts and my experience using these towels. Uh, also, what we're going to be doing is talk about their fabrication, their fabrication quality, uh, also the price, or the value, and we're going to be having a water test or water absorbency to see how they actually perform in a real life scenario as well. So stay tuned for that in the video. Uh, but also, let me tell you right off the bat, if you guys buy any one of these five towels, you're in for quite a treat because they are all good. What we're doing here is really nitpicking. Chamois are a thing of the past, as though those synthetic or real leather chamois. Uh, what we prefer today is to use microfiber drying towels. They're the softest for your paint. Also, uh, if your paint has paint protection, a wax, a sealant, a ceramic coating, or a graphene coating, it of course accelerates the drying time, speeds the whole process up, and just makes it more enjoyable. You can also use a leaf blower or car dryer. If you want a 100% contactless drying experience, I have info on all of those uh, in other videos, but today we're focusing on the drying towels. Let me give you the three general types of microfiber drying towels or weaves that exist currently on the market. So the uh, first one, the traditional one, is more of the uh, plush kind of microfiber weave. So if we have a close-up here, for example, this is the Woolly Mammoth by the Chemical Guys. So as you can tell, thick GSM, thick pile, and very plush microfibers, right? The second type of microfibers for drying towels is a twist loop towel. So if you have a look, if we were to bring this up close uh, to a microscope, you would see that the fibers are actually twisted. So they're loops and they're twisted up or curled up if you want, hence the name twist loop. And last but not least, another traditional type of drying towels is the waffle weave. These towels have little waffles or pockets on them, so those are the three general styles. Now, the most absorbent style of towels is typically the twisted loop towel. Uh, I spoke with experts over at the Rag Company and uh, Levi Gates, you guys probably know him, you've seen him on YouTube. So uh, he says the twist loop type towels are the most absorbent, hence why you'll see the majority of the towels in today's test are actually twist loop style. So the first towel we're going to talk about guys is the Rag Company Gauntlet version 2.0. So this is the latest iteration of it. So the first version was a bit different and you're going to ask, well, what's the difference with version 2.0? Because version 1 was already very good, was included in my previous test, right? So what they did here, if we bring you in for a close-up, so it's a Korean 70-30 blend, so super high quality yarn. And what they did is if you look at this checkered system, they have some twist loops here, and then they have the soft plush uh, fibers on this side. So it has a hybrid kind of pattern, as you can tell, with two different types uh, of microfibers. And this is, according to them, to reduce dry drag and make it more efficient or gliding a lot easier on the surface. And of course, you're going to see in a few minutes the water absorbency test. We're going to uh, test how well they perform on an actual wet panel to dry the panel right. So this one here, the size is a 20 by 30. They offer many, many different sizes. So the 20 by 30, by the way, the current price is roughly 21 US dollars or 30 Canadian dollars. They have this in 12 by 12 size, 15 by 24, and also 30 by 36. Uh, what I noticed is that sizes like this, I tend to prefer a bit uh, smaller towels because they're more easy to manage. Uh, and the bigger towels, normally the uh, classic 25 by 36, uh, they're usually good for bigger trucks or drying a bigger 
SUVs, for example, but if you have an average size car or a small car, uh, I think, once again, they're easier to manage. So they have dark gray charcoal on one side and they have this light uh, color on the other side. So that's the Gauntlet version 2.0. If we look at the edges, they have this butter suede soft edge, so it will not scratch the paint. So the build quality is amazing. It's also the second less expensive towel of the bunch. So as usual, the rag company coming in with a great performer at a great value, right? Uh, also, the majority of the towels in this uh in this video are 70-30 blend, so polyester and polyamide. So they're all good quality regardless which one you get once again. By the way, uh, this one here is 900 GSM. The uh, higher GSM number usually means a lot more fibers or a more dense, uh, thicker, plusher kind of towel, but uh, the numbers don't necessarily always correlate to actual real world performance. So uh, more on that later in this test. The rag company also released a, a new towel in their lineup and it's called the liquidator. So the liquidator here is a 20 by 24 in size. That's the one I have. Uh, it's 17 US dollars at the moment of filming this video or 25 Canadian dollars, making it the less expensive towel of the test. They also have it in 16 by 16 format, 25 by 36. Again, 70, 30 uh, blend twist loop towel. This one here comes in at 1100 GSM. And if we look on one side, it has this uh, kind of turquoise or teal color. And in the back, this one here, here has this uh, gray color. They uh, don't have any borders, so again, no risks of uh, scratching the uh, vehicle. By the way, uh, always wash your microfiber towels before their first use, that is key. And none of these, to my knowledge, have had any linting issues, which is also a good indicator that you have good microfiber towels. Uh, again, soft, hemmed, uh, edgeless kind of design here on the border, so no uh, worries of scratching your paint. And again, the less expensive towel of the bunch at the moment of this recording in uh, the last video, there was two towels that you guys highly, highly requested. Uh, one of them was this one, the Chemical Guys Woolly Mammoth. They have it in gray or in this blue color. This one here is pretty, uh, pretty big. So this is a 25 by 36. <laughs> Look how big that is. So let me bring you in closer. This, by the way, uh, at the moment of this recording is 30 US dollars or roughly 39 Canadian dollars. It's a 70-30 blend once again. Uh, it has 880 GSM. So it's the uh, towel with the least amount of GSM in this test. Uh, it has these silk edges. So once again, they're very smart, all the brands now, and they want to make sure you have a good experience and you're not scratching your paint. So it is very soft. This one here is more of this plush weave from what I can tell. So they don't give us much information on their website, but it doesn't seem to be a twist loop. It's really this soft kind of microfiber weave if you want. Now it's the only one in the test that had a tag on it. Always remove tags. I wish the brands uh, took some notes and do not apply tags on the towels because if you forget to remove them, you run the risk of potentially marring or scratching the paint. Uh, so this one here, it was relatively easy to remove, but I mean, why do that? None of the other towels had a, um, had a tag on it. So you can see 70, 30 blend of polyester and polyamide uh, made in China, what they call their premium microfibers. So yeah. The uh, next one in the test is another one that you guys highly recommended in the previous video, and this is the Griot's Garage PFM drying towel. This seems to be their latest version because they said new and improved on the package because it's now 11... Uh, 120 GSM, so 1120. This one here too is a uh, twist loop type towel, if we look at here. And they have, of course, this soft uh, edge here so it won't scratch the paint. What are we talking about for pricing? So this one here is a 25 by 35 in size. Uh, we're looking at $40 US or 44 Canadian dollars at the moment of this filming. Uh, it's 45 US dollars or 60 Canadian dollars for a 29 by 36, so the other size. Uh, this is the most expensive towel in this test. So as far as value is concerned, uh, look elsewhere if you're looking for a less expensive uh, version. So 1120 GSM. It's an edgeless double ply design with satin edges. Once again, uh, long looped microfiber type or that twist loop as we mentioned before. And last but not least in this test, this is another big one. This one here is the Luxury Microfiber 
sucker drying towel. Uh, they come in different colors and different sizes. So you get the blue or you get the gray. This one here is giant. The one in this test is 34 by 28. They also, and it costs 34 US dollars or 46 Canadian dollars at the moment of this recording. They also make a 24 by 16 for 24 USD or 33 Canadian dollars. It's a premium 70 30 blend. Once again, twisted loop, edgeless design. So this is the twisted loop if you look at it up close and it doesn't have any edges. So very smart in the design. Uh, this is the highest GSM if that's important for you in this test. So 1400 GSM. And the build quality, once again, is very, very good. Like all of these towels, by the way, like I said at the beginning, uh, you'd be hard pressed really to find big, big differences in all these towels, regardless which one uh, you buy, you're gonna be very happy. But still, there are a few subtle differences with maybe one of the towels or two of these towels. So now let's go into the test and we'll come back after the water test or the absorbency test to uh, give you my final thoughts and hopefully pick a winner. All right, guys, now it's time for the water absorbency test. So we'll be testing each one of the five different microfiber drying towels. I remind you that this vehicle is ceramic coated, hence why you see all this nice water beading and water sheeting. So having some protection on the paint, uh, like a wax, a sealant, or a coating will help with drying your vehicle much quicker because the water doesn't stick as much to the paint. So the first towel we're going to be trying is the Rag Company Gauntlet version two towel. So what we're going to do Going to lay this down, always do a tap on it to start off and then do a quick drag to dry the entire hood. And then we're gonna have a look at a close-up shot. So I'll bring you guys in so we can see what this has done. So for all of these towels, don't look at these curves here because that's a curved edge. You'd obviously have to go back with your hand but we're looking at the surfaces there. And as we can tell with the Rag Company Gauntlet, there is no water left other than these very, very faint light streaks. But I mean, <laughs> this is pretty much bone dry. So that one did super well. All right, now for the second one, this is the Rag Company Liquidator. So same thing here. We're going to tap it a bit, blot it, and then drag to dry and see the results with this one as well. And let's bring you in for that close up. And here we are with the Rag Company Liquidator. Very, very good job. Once again, this, just don't take that into consideration because you'd have to go over it. It's a curved edge there with your hand when you're drying, but we're looking at this part here, and this is also completely dry. Did a great job at picking pretty much everything up. Maybe a few little droplets here and there, but overall, another one that picked pretty much everything up. All right, for the next one, the chemical guys, Woolly Mammoth. This one here in a larger size, obviously, the uh, bigger the towel, they all have big sizes. The quicker or more efficient you'll be at doing it, but it's less manageable compared to a smaller towel, right? So that's a question of personal preference. So let's go ahead and test this one. So if I bring you in now for the chemical guys, Woolly Mammoth, there is a, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, just a little bit of water left on the surface. Nothing too crazy, but definitely more than the other two. I think you can, you can see that here. So this is probably 90% dry. You can see a bit of more of that standing water here still is doing a very good job at picking up water but i can't say that this is fully dried see more more water here 
that's left. I think we can clearly see that. Yeah, you see all that streaking there? We didn't have that with the previous two towels. But yeah, overall, great job. And again, on the sides, it's to be expected because that's a curved edge. So you go over that with your, your hand, obviously, when you're drawing that portion. But we're looking at this flatter section here. So overall, decent job. All right, the next one, guys, Griot's Garage PFM microfiber drying towel. Uh, by the way, if you're curious, I'm using DI water or deionized water. So there are no minerals in the water for a mineral-free or a spot-free car wash experience. So I really like using high-quality water when I detail. So now the Griot's Garage, lay that down. There we go. And let's have a look at the results close up. All right, now for the Griot's Garage PFM. Again, don't look at those edges, but let's have a look here. It seems to be pretty perfect, pretty much bone dry, very consistent with what twisted loop microfiber trying towels do. So I don't see any streaking left or any residual water really. So great job from the Griot's Garage. Again, don't count those edges, but this uh, entire section here, very good job. I would say that's pretty much bone dry. All right guys, last but not least, we have the Sucker drying towel from Luxury Microfiber. Put that on there. Let's go ahead. So all of these were done with a single wipe. So you can see what the results look like with just minimal effort. And let's have a look at this one close up. All right, so here's a close up of the luxury microfiber sucker drying towel. So like all of them, don't take this into consideration, the sides there. We're looking at the flat portion and that seems pretty much bone dry too. Single swipe. I don't see any residual water or streaking on there. Yep, it did super well. There we go. So pretty much dry. What we see here is a bit of water spotting, but I mean, this is still dry to the touch. So that has nothing to do with the uh, drying towel, but this vehicle sits outside sometimes and not always in optimal conditions. So we're gonna have to address that in a future wash, but uh, yeah, so it did a great job at drying that towel. So guys, I presented all the technical aspects of each towel and you guys also saw them in a real world test. So how well they dried the panel uh, that was wet, the vehicle was ceramic coated. So this reflects or mimics kind of the real world scenario where you guys as well, if you watch my videos, obviously there's some form of paint protection on your paintwork. So a wax, a sealant or a ceramic coating, which greatly helps increase the efficiency when you're drying your vehicle. So now we're gonna try and rank these towels from fifth place all the way to first place to try and figure out a winner. Uh, how do we do this, right? Uh, it's very subjective, but also you have to add a bit of uh, data in there. So we're gonna be looking basically at the price or the value, which is key, the build quality or the fabrication quality, their performance, of course, to dry the vehicle because that's what they're designed to do, and uh, basically have any points or uh, the user experience on there too. So let me give you my thoughts. By the way, I want you to give me which one was your winner. That's also important. I'd like to have your feedback. If you've had one of these towels or all of these towels, let me know what your favorite one is. Drop a comment in the comment section under the video. 
So in fifth place, I would have to put the chemical guys Woolly Mammoth because although it did well overall, uh, it's not one of the less expensive ones. It's actually one of the more expensive towels uh, and it is limited in sizes, right? So they're, to my knowledge, it's only available in one size, the 25 by 36. You can get it in either gray or blue. Uh, but in the performance, this is the one that didn't do quite as well as the others. It still did stellar. Like I said at the beginning of the video, uh, any one of these five towels, you'll be super happy to own because they all do a great job. But in my testing, in my conditions, we still saw a bit of streaking or a bit of water left behind by this. Uh, so you'd probably have to do a second pass on your vehicle to make sure you get everything off. So for that reason, uh, this one is in fifth place. In fourth place, the Griot's Garage PFM drying towel. Why is it in fourth place? Because it performed super well, right? So to absorb water or to dry the panel, this did perfectly well, like the other ones that also did well in the test, as we'll talk about now. The build quality is fantastic, so it's a great performer. The issue with this one is that it is the most expensive towel in the bunch, so the value isn't quite there. Uh, again, the moment of filming this video, uh, this one here, the 25 by 35 in size, was 40 US dollars or roughly 44 Canadian dollars and it's also only available to my knowledge in two sizes so 25 by 35 or 29 by 36 uh, so not quite quite as versatile as some others in this test uh, however it did perform extremely well build quality is top notch and it dried the panel almost to 100 percent like the rest of the top three that's coming up uh, but what knocked it down is purely the price and not as much sizes available because a lot of people like to have different sizes, right? Depending on what size of vehicle you want or just which uh, size towel you prefer using. This is very subjective. In third place, the luxury microfiber um, sucker drying towel. So this one here can be had in either gray or blue and different sizes, uh, 24 by 16 or 34 by 28. So this is the one we had for the test, 34 by 28. So it is relatively expensive at 34 USD or 46 dollars Canadian for the test. Uh, so it is not the most expensive, but it's not the less expensive one either. It's kind of mid-pack if you want, uh, but it did perform extremely well, almost 100% drying the panel. Uh, no problem there. Build quality top-notch. So if you're only looking at performance and, big qual and build quality, this is just as good, if not better, compared to the um, Griot's Garage PFM and a little less expensive, hence why it is getting third place in this test. Once again, guys, all these towels are great. Even the fifth place, if you gave that to me and I had to use it for the rest of my life to dry cars, I'd be very happy. And I'm sure the ones who are using it are also super happy. In second place now, we have the Rag Company Gauntlet version 2.0. Stellar performer, stellar build quality. It is the second less expensive towel of the bunch. So tremendous, tremendous value. Uh, just the feel of it is probably one of the softest ones in this test. If we're looking for the feel in hand, it glides perfectly well on the surface. Once again, performed super well. Uh, what really helps it is not only is it the second less expensive, uh, it also performed top notch, almost 100% uh, dried panel when we used it in the test, but it's very versatile because you can have it in a 12 by 12, 15 by 24 in size. Uh, this one here is 20 by 30 and costs 21 USD or roughly 30 bucks Canadian. You can have it in a 30 by 36. So very versatile in its sizes. So then you guys kind of understand what makes the first place or the winner of this test. Well, it's the Rag Company Liquidator Drying Towel. And let us explain why. First of all, well, the color looks cool. It has this kind of teal or turquoise in the front and gray in the back, but we don't pick towels for colors, although that can be important for certain. The overall build quality. So although the Rag Company built this to be at a lower price point compared to the Gauntlet, this one here is like if you're looking just for plushness and overall quality, this is still their number one, right? This is their premium drying towel. But the liquidator was designed to be a strong performer. Where it really shined was for value. This one here is the less expensive uh, towel in this test. So a 20 uh, by 24 in size, like this one I have here, is 17 US dollars or 25 Canadian dollars. It's very versatile because it can be had or purchased in different sizes. You can have it in a 16 by 16 for only eight US dollars, eight bucks. That's not expensive. You can have it in a 25 by 36 for only 23 USD. Uh, it's a 70-30 blend, 1100 GSM. It has a soft head and uh, edgeless design border, has this twi twist loop, which I love. So it performed 
top top rank like the other three in the top three or top four I should say all, all the twist loops did super well so almost 100% uh, dried panel in this test so it performed in the top top-notch build quality the bang for buck you're getting is the less expensive towel out there uh, and yeah an overall great experience of using this and once again even with this smaller sized towel that is a 20 by 24 I can dry an entire average sized car or a small vehicle uh, without having to wring it out so one towel does it all and it's just fantastic so yeah the winner of this test guys let me know do you agree for me the rag company liquidator uh, once again quick disclaimer this is not a sponsored video nobody paid to be included in this video so I ordered all of these towels myself uh, except the luxury microfiber which was sent to me in a previous video where I fully reviewed this if you guys want to check that out but once again this video here nobody paid for this video I'm just giving you my thoughts my experience with these towels if your experience differs let me know what would have been your top pick drop a comment in the comment section I remind you that I'll leave links to all of these towels in the description under the video for you guys to check them out and uh, yeah if you want me to include more towels are there any towels that I absolutely need to check out because I'm always looking for your input uh, you guys wanted me to include the chemical guys in the griots garage in this video and I did and I was uh, happily surprised to have discovered these uh, these towels and so let me know if there's any other ones that you want me to try in a future video drop that comment right there and uh, guys in the meantime don't forget keep it tight keep it clean and I'll see you on the next one